Network Marketing Pro is proud to present the national bestseller, Go Pro, Seven Steps to Becoming a Network Marketing Professional, read by its author, Eric Worre. I remember the day I was introduced to network marketing for the first time. It was January 1988. I was 23 years old and selling real estate for a small company owned by my father and his friend, John Joyce. I was newly married with a little boy. I was already behind on my bills and I was scared. The year before, I had earned about $45,000 in real estate commissions, which was a good thing. The problem was that I had spent about $60,000 and didn't save any money to pay my taxes, which would be due in just a few months. When John Joyce came to my desk that day and said, Eric, I think I have a way for us to make some extra money, I said, tell me more. He went on to say a good friend of his had something to show us and had invited us to his house. So I got in the car with John and my dad and drove over to check it out. When we arrived, he brought us into his living room, popped a tape into his VCR and hit play. I sat and watched this crazy video. It was filled with mansions and limousines and testimonials of people making fortunes virtually overnight. It was so over the top, I just couldn't believe it to be true. So I proceeded to tell everyone I thought it was a bad idea and I wasn't interested. My natural mental filters just couldn't let it in. Then something interesting happened. John and my dad said, okay, that's too bad, but we're going to do it anyway. This had a major impact on me because the only thing worse than being broken in debt was the thought of seeing these two go on to make huge money without me. So I changed my attitude, pulled my dad aside, and asked him if he'd loan me some money to sign up. Thank God he said yes, because deciding to become a network marketing distributor completely changed my life. When I got started, I treated my business like most people do, which to say I didn't treat it like a business at all. I got in, made some phone calls, and hoped my timing and positioning was enough for me to get lucky and make a few bucks. And at first it worked. I did make some money. And it was very exciting, although I have to disclose something to you. For those first few months, my entire strategy was to quickly call all of my dad's contacts before he had time to get to them. I thought if I called them, told them my dad and John Joyce were involved, and got them to a meeting or to watch a video, then if they were interested, my dad wouldn't fight over who got the credit, since I was in his organization. I had limited success with this, but as you can imagine, it didn't last long. So three months after I got started, my network marketing income dried right up. And when it did, my positive attitude completely went away. I started to blame everything and everyone for my lack of success. My upline wasn't giving me enough help. The company didn't provide adequate training. I didn't know enough people. No one would respect me because I was so young. I blamed the product. I blamed the company. I blamed the economy. I blamed everyone but myself. But I had a big problem. Blaming the world wasn't helping to pay my bills. And I'd walked away from real estate after that first commission check. It was going to take too long to get a real estate commission, and I had no college degree, so getting a decent paying job was out of the question. The only place I could go to create some cash flow was back to network marketing. So I put my head down and went to work. At first, it wasn't easy. In fact, in my first three years, I rebuilt my organization seven times. I'd build it up, and it would crash, and I'd build it up again, and it would crash over and over and over again. After those first three years... I was more than discouraged. I'd almost lost hope. Then something happened that changed my life. Actually, it was a combination of two things. It was the night before a company convention, and I was watching a news program on television. They had a guest who was an expert on a topic I can't recall now. What went through my mind was, how does a person become an expert on that topic? The only thing I could think of is they must have decided to become experienced, learn everything they could, read every book, talk to every other person, and learn it so completely that they became an expert. The next day, I went to the company convention and watched superstar after superstar walk across the stage. And then, it was like being hit by lightning. It finally clicked in my brain that if I truly decided to do it, I could become an expert at network marketing. I could focus on the skills. I could practice until I became an expert. And no one could stop me. Up until that moment, I was always looking for an angle. I was hoping to get lucky. I was hoping to sponsor that one superstar who was going to change everything. And I was scared I would lose my chance if it didn't happen soon. In an instant, everything changed. I realized I didn't have to worry about getting lucky. Timing and positioning were nice, but not necessary for my long-term success. I didn't have to worry about my upline, knowing the right people, or anything else. All I had to do 
was become an expert. So I decided that day to change my focus and develop the skills to become a network marketing professional. It was a day that changed my life. Since then, my life has been an amazing adventure. Network marketing became a career for me. I have complete time freedom. I've met the most amazing people around the world. I've been able to touch and be touched by the lives of hundreds of thousands of people, travel all over the world, contribute to the causes that are important to me, and most importantly, become a better person in the process. All of this happened for me, and it can happen for you too. In this audiobook, I'm going to give you the fundamental principles that can guide you to becoming a network marketing professional. They've served me well over the past few decades, and I know they'll serve you just as well. Welcome to an exciting adventure. The remaining in the poser category is a bad idea. Within about 90 days, I moved out of that category and became an amateur. Amateurs. Amateurs focus on different things. One of the things I continued to focus on as an amateur was luck. I was really hoping to get lucky and sign that monster distributor who was going to make me rich. We've all heard the stories of some person who had their lives completely changed by one sign-up. In reality, even if some of those stories are true, it really doesn't serve our profession very well because it makes people spend their time hoping for that big hit. The second thing I focused on as an amateur was timing. I was always worried about timing. Did I get in early enough? Could I be the youngest top person in my company? How many other leaders were already in my local market? Were there too many to compete against? Were there enough to get true momentum? How was the company? Was it too big? Did I miss the growth curve? Was it too small? I was obsessed with the idea of timing. The third thing I focused on as an amateur was positioning. Was I in the right organization? Did other people have a better position than me? Maybe I didn't have the right upline. Would I do better somewhere else? And the fourth thing I focused on as an amateur was shortcuts. I was always looking for an angle. Any gimmick that came down the road, I was up for it. Newspaper advertising? Okay. Help wanted signs by the side of the road? Let's do it. Passing out flyers at the mall, I'm in. Going door to door, let's try it. The internet didn't exist when I was an amateur. Just imagine how crazy I would have been over all the internet tactics I could have used to distract myself. What that meant was, every time I heard of some shiny new approach being trained by anyone in the world, I was digging into it to try to find the shortcut. And then, I finally made the decision to go pro. Wikipedia's definition of a professional is a person who is paid to undertake a specialized set of tasks and to complete them for a fee. My definition of a network marketing professional is a person who is an expert at the skills required to build a large and successful network marketing organization. There is a phrase in our profession that does more harm than good. It says, ignorance on fire is better than knowledge on ice. The point of this phrase is that it's better to be excited and ignorant than it is to be apathetic and smart. That may be true, but why do we have to choose one or the other? Let me give you an example. Let's say you're in need of an operation. At the hospital, you meet your doctor. He comes in and says, I'm very excited to conduct your operation. I'm so passionate about it, I could hardly sleep. No one on earth wants to help you more than I do. You say, wow, thanks, doctor. How long have you been doing these type of operations? And he says, well, I've never had any schooling on this particular operation, and I've never practiced, and I've never done one, but it doesn't matter because I'm so passionate. How are you going to feel? Enthusiasm is great, but eventually you have to marry that passion with skill. Professional athletes will devote endless hours to preparing for competition. But when they join network marketing, they won't give one day's worth of effort to learning our skills. Doctors will devote a decade of their lives at huge financial expense to become physicians. But when they join network marketing, they won't give a month's study and practice to becoming a network marketing pro. In his book, Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell's research showed it takes approximately 10,000 hours of practice to reach the expert level at anything. With four hours a day of practice, that adds up to about seven years. That formula applies to network marketing as well. It's going to take about seven years for you to become world class. The good news is the profession is very forgiving and you can earn a lot of money while you're becoming an expert. The trick is not to get complacent. Don't stop learning while you're earning. When I made the decision to go pro, everything changed for me. I stopped focusing on luck, timing, positioning, and shortcuts. I even stopped focusing on the money. My world changed when I started focusing on the skills and made the commitment to practice, practice, practice until I mastered them. Another thing happened when I decided to go pro. 
All of a sudden, my group started to grow. It was like people could sense my change of focus and my commitment to excellence, and they wanted to be part of it. Think about a time in your life when you were around a person committed to excellence. It might have been a teacher, a coach, a boss, or a friend. How did it make you feel? It was inspiring, right? You'll find you'll be an inspiration to others when you make this important shift. Bottom line, if you're going to be involved in this great profession, decide to do it right and treat it like a profession. If you go pro, this business is great. If you stay a poser or an amateur, you're going to be miserable. And by now, you've noticed I use the word profession a lot. I do that on purpose. Network marketing is more than just a project. It's not an industry. It's a profession. If you do it right, it's truly a career choice. It can take you out of working in a job that doesn't make you happy to a place of total freedom. That's why I call my website networkmarketingpro.com. Here's what I tell people every day. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro. Because it is a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. When the site launched on March 11, 2009, very few people called themselves network marketing professionals. That's no longer the case. Millions of people have changed the way they think about our business, and I'm proud of that fact. I look forward to the day when it's common for people to hear, I'm a doctor, but I'm also a network marketing professional. I work in construction, but I'm also a network marketing professional. I'm an athlete, but I'm also a network marketing professional. The more people hear those words, the more the world will be ready for a better way. Chapter 3. Like any profession, you'll need to learn some skills. I hope by now I've been successful at convincing you that network marketing is a better way. I hope I've also gotten the point across, if you're going to be involved, it's best to become a professional. The next step is recognizing that you'll need to learn some skills. But before we get to those skills, let me give you some good news. Unlike most professions, you're not going to need a lot of money for your education. You won't have to take out student loans, and you can actually earn while you're learning. In addition, this profession isn't biased. In fact, it's the most equal opportunity in the world. Your background, experience, contacts, age, race, or gender aren't going to be factors in your ability to learn the skills to go pro. And finally, this isn't complicated. The skills necessary to grow a large and successful business are extremely learnable, and you're going to have a surprising number of people financially motivated to help you learn them. There are three primary elements to your network marketing business. First, you have the company's products. If some people are successful in marketing those products and you're not, it isn't the product's fault. In other words, everyone in your company has the same products to offer to the public. Second, you have the company's compensation plan. If some people are making a lot of money and you're not, it isn't the compensation plan's fault. There isn't one plan for men and one for women. There isn't one plan for different age groups or educational backgrounds or for the color of your skin. The compensation plan is the same for everyone. The third element is the most important, and that element is you. You are really the only variable. Everyone has the same product and the same compensation plan, but you're going to be the difference between success and failure. That means right here and right now, you need to take responsibility for your network marketing business. Decide today never to blame anyone or anything else for your lack of results. In fact, in network marketing, there's something of an epidemic going on. People just love to blame their upline, the people above them in the structure, for all of their problems. If my upline did this for me or did that for me, everything would be better. If you're committed to building a large and successful organization, I'd encourage you to do something important. I'd like you to say goodbye to your upline. Call them up and say something like, I want to thank you for this opportunity. I appreciate it. Getting into business for myself was important, and I appreciate you introducing me to a company that you believe in and that I now believe in as well. But from now on, when it comes to building my business, I'm going to use you as a resource, but never as an excuse. I may call on you from time to time. If you're available, that's great. If you're not, that's okay too. I'm going to build my business, and I understand one thing. It begins and ends with me. Everything changes when you take full responsibility for your network marketing career. 
Would it surprise you to know that there are only seven fundamental skills necessary to build a huge business in network marketing? Seven, not 70. Each one's fairly basic, but it always amazes me how little effort people put into learning them. If a college course were offered on network marketing, it would be one of the easiest classes to take. It's not rocket science, but you'll be happy to know it's one of the highest paid skill sets in the world. Let's explore each of them together.